Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $87,011.23. In the past year I am up $8,992.27. Year to date for the year 2024, I am down $4,910.87. Today was a red day for me. I lost several thousand dollars. During the day, I lost $6,423.24. After hours, I am up $1,633.38. But overall, I still did lose several thousand dollars today. Now, let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $163. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return, $25. I'm selling SoFi $6 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, $7. I'm selling SoFi six and a half dollar puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $18. I'll I have Amazon $120, $110 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $22. Now, Robinhood decided to name this position a Disney two option strategy. I would like to refer to this as a diagonal spread. So I have a Disney diagonal spread and I'm selling the Disney $100 call expiring October 18th. And I bought the Disney $70 call expiring December 19th, 2025. So this makes up the diagonal spread. There's a Disney call that expires much later in 2025. And I'm selling a Disney call at a higher strike price expiring sooner. The total return for this Disney diagonal call, I am down $43. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $340. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $347. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $650. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $162.87. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $19,179.01. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.68. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $6,000. $339.60. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $88.16. My average cost, $60. My total return, $8,446.50. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $160.89. My average cost, 
My total return, $1,841.01. This is a margin account. My margin total is $80,756.87. My margin used is $40,654.38. My options collateral is $39,100. This leaves me with $1,002.49 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $15,668.29. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is 8.98%. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So I already made a video last night about how much money I've lost from Friday until now, and it is a whole lot. If we look at the one week chart, look at this. Down 16.43%. Now, I was down over $25,000 when I made my video on Sunday night. However, since then, the market, I guess, recovered a little bit. So at least I didn't lose that much, but I don't want to speak too soon because this is barely the beginning of this week. We still have many days left to go, so we'll see what happens moving forward. However, at least for now, my portfolio ended up not losing that much money compared to how much money I was losing in the overnight hours when I made my video Sunday night. But I am still down a lot of money. $17,000 in the past week. That's a whole lot of money to lose in one week. So. I'm still down by a lot. I did change some of my positions in my portfolio. One of them is my Google covered calls. I used to have Google $210 covered calls expiring in December. However, I've changed that. I changed the strike price to $170, which is much lower. And I changed the expiration date to the 9th, this Friday. So that's one thing that I changed. Another thing is my SoFi $6 puts that I'm selling. This is a new position that I just started today. And I just want to gain some premium from these puts. This expires the 9th, this Friday. So pretty soon. Something else that's new are these Amazon $120, $110 put credit spreads. I opened this position today and this expires October 18th, so about two months from now. I do have this Disney two option strategy, as Robin Hood would like to call it. However, I refer to this as a diagonal spread. Now, these are the positions that make up this diagonal spread. I bought the Disney $70 call expiring December 19th, 2025, which is a long time from now but I'm selling the Disney $100 call expiring two months from now. So these are the two positions that make up my diagonal spread. I also got rid of my PayPal position. I had 200 shares of PayPal and I was doing covered calls on PayPal. However, as you can see, I no longer have shares of PayPal in my portfolio. So that's gone. And then I used that money to put it towards some other positions that I just spoke about. So those are the changes that I just made in my portfolio today. The market has been crazy lately, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's having a rough time, but that's how my portfolio is going so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.